Grundy Award, which is named after the city's famous historian, J. Owen Grundy. And this award recognizes a work that chronicles Jersey City history through a written or artistic medium. And this year's award goes to the Hudson County Genealogical and Historical Society for its highly informative website. Now, preservation isn't just about bricks and mortar. It's, it's about the lives of the people who came before us. And no organization does more to help people research the lives of those people who came before us than the Hudson County Genealogical Society. The Society was founded in October of 2007 to encourage the study of genealogy in Hudson County and to collect, preserve, and index geological information in cooperation with local libraries. But this organization is an organization in and of the 21st century. And that's why they're here tonight, because their website is one of the richest treasure troves for historians, researchers, anyone interested in researching their family's history and researching the history of, of, of famous locals. Their website is, is an outstanding resource. Uh, if you have family roots in Hudson County, this is the place to go to find out about it. Uh, their website features uh, numerous things that if you become a member, you can access databases such as immigration records, newspaper archives, births and birth and death certificates, uh, draft induction records, veterans archives, police force appointment records, high school yearbooks, and this is, this is very important for those people who've ever tried to research something and found out that they hit a dead end because they couldn't figure out what was going on, looking up old addresses. They even have an index of street name changes. So if you're trying to figure out where your ancestor was and they find out that some street was changed at some point to someone else's name, they have an index so you, can, uh, you don't have to go to some other library or some other place to go figure it out. So it, it, for those of you who are interested in genealogy or anyone interested in local history, I can't think of a better resource to point you to first than the Hudson County Genealogical Society. And like I said, it's all available on their website, and that's why they get the Owen Grundy Award this year, because they have provided a resource uh, online that anyone can access. In addition to the fact they have seminars, they have uh, 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 workshops to help you with your research, and they also spearheaded uh, the History Fair here in Hudson County. So for all their work, but primarily tonight for their website, the Conservancy is proud to honor a friend and partner, the Hudson County Genealogical and Historical Society. Hi, I'm Jane Mackesy. I'm the president this year of the Hudson County Genealogical and Historical Society. And last year I attended this uh, dinner for the first time to honor Dr. Platt, who we mentioned before passed away, and his assistant, Arlene Diaz, who is here with us tonight. Um, when they won, he won this same award last year. Um, and as I was preparing these remarks, we found about, out about his death. And we as a society are truly saddened by this loss of a great historian and a great person. His contributions, both educational and financial, to our society and to all those who benefited from him will, are greatly appreciated and he will be sadly missed. So again, to Arlene. Where is Arlene? She was right there. Thank you. She was one of was uh, Dr. Platt's assistants. <laughs> and I'm thrilled to accept this award on behalf of the Society for our website. Joe Mann, who's our webmaster, um, couldn't be here tonight. He's got young children and he lives in Morris County, so he couldn't be here. But truly, he does all the, deserve the major uh, credit for the design and the maintenance of our website. Uh, he is the brains of the operation of the website. However, the website is made up of contributions from many of our members. There are, as um, John was saying, there are photo collections, um, among other things, submitted by numerous members. We have our monuments photo collection, which was spearheaded by Jim McCarthy. The Holy Name Cemetery database, where members submit info on their own family's graves or other graves that they have looked up, and that's uh, spearheaded by Adelaide Ward, who is here. We also have... My own records submitted by Bill Miller. Other databases include the Hudson County World War II first round draftees, Union City deaths from 1936 to 45, Hudson Observer death notices, and copies of our newsletter, which is edited by Danny Klein. Just to name a few of the things, and, and John mentioned meant some of the others. This is a truly a collaborative effort. We have a blog area where members can communicate with each other, and we have had two live chats. We are in the 
this century. <laughs> Joe posts podcasts of our business meetings and our programs so that all of our members have access, even if they don't live here and can't attend our meetings. Uh, and 46% of our members are from out of the state, and some are even from out of the country. Um, Ed Calton is from Missouri, and he's a very um, active contributor to our, um, our um, blogs and things on, on the website. We are, as we said, a relatively young organization. We only were formed in 2007 by a hard-working group of people, most of whom are here tonight. Bob Murgatroyd, Ellen Healy, Jackie Wisner, Dee Berry, Kathy Pontus, Danny Klein, and Joe Mann. I'd like to give them a round of applause. For standing up for Many other members are here supporting us tonight, thanks to those members. Uh, so if you are interested in genealogy or history, you can join our group. I happen to bring some brochures. <laughs> <laughs> or you can go to our website and join on the website. We are truly honored, and I, as a former Jersey City girl, am especially thrilled to accept the J. Owen Grundy Award from the Jersey City Landmarks Conservancy. Thank you so much.